my name is Lindsay, and today I thought we could do some Everfriend accessory and outfit hacks. And before we get started, let's go ahead and spin the wheel because we might get something that is Everfriend themed. You never know. Although I already have the sweetheart earrings, and that might be the only Everfriend themed item in the wheel. But looks like we got 300 diamonds because we got the princess poofy sleeves, which we already have. So I do have an outfit hack already with my outfit and I have shown this in a past video but in case you guys are curious to what I am wearing I am wearing the darling academia uniform I have on transformation 3 I am wearing the cozy sweater with transformation 6 and here are the toggles I am using for my heels I've been asked a lot how to make this specific version of the heel so I am using transformation 8 with these toggles right here so that is how you make my outfit so i do have a lot of hacks with the opposite attract transformation dress and bodice so we are going to do those hacks first so i am going to put on the opposite attract transformation dress and i'm going to put it on toggle five i am going to put on heels to get rid of the clipping i'm just going to put on random heels you can put on whatever heels you want and we're going to do my favorite hack of all time first a hack that i do all the time so we need to put on the goth lolita skirt and we need to put it on transformation three and then you're going to color the skirt to match your opposite attract dress this will add a lot of ruffles and then next we're going to put on the darling valentina lace bodice and we're going to put on transformation 17 but if you don't have the darling valentina bodice you can use the baby doll sleeves instead if you have those or you can use any sleeves you want i just think these ones look really cute with this outfit that i am making and here is what this looks like now it does look better if you use patterns but i know there's a lot of people who watch my videos who don't have the pattern game pass so i didn't want to use it for this hack but even if you just use the color palette like i did it still looks really cute i love this hack so much it looks like we have a very roughly dress okay Okay, so I am going to keep the opposite attract dress and bodice on. I am still wearing transformation five. We are going to do another skirt dress combo hack. So I am going to put on the Slay skirt. I am going to put on transformation two. Now you want everything but the bow to match the color of your dress. And then you're going to put on the oh, Whimsy Witch bodice and you're going to scroll down and put Put on transformation 22 and you are going to color it to match your dress and you will want longer hair because the back does look a little silly but you can fix that if you wear a long hairstyle we are going to wear a hairstyle that came out with last year's valentine's day update we are going to wear the teddy hairstyle and here is what this looks like again i think this would look really cute with patterns but it still looks cute without the patterns and just using the color palette so once again i'm using the opposite attract dress transformation five for this one if you wanted to you could use transformation one i just prefer transformation five so we are going to use the cozy sweater so i do recommend putting on the human arms for this so when you put on the cozy sweater, you're going to need to put it on transformation eight. You can do seven if you prefer the looks of seven, but I'm going to go with eight because I feel like the smoothness of eight goes with the opposite attract dress. And I'm going to put it on three out of five, which is masculine size one, because then it kind of tucks into the opposite attract dress and it looks really cute. And to get rid of the leg clipping, I did put on some heels and here is what this looks like and i just realized another thing you can do is put on transformation 2 this is so cute and i just realized this is kind of like a rework version of the opposite attract bodice paired with the steampunk bodice only there's less clipping this is so adorable 
adorable. And if you wanted to, you could get rid of the sleeves. And you can use the sleeves from the Royale PE shirt. Oh my goodness. Look at the hack we just made. This is so cute. I love it when we discover new things during a video together. So I wanted to add a skirt to see what it would look like. It is so cute. I do feel like we could style this outfit a little bit more. Maybe add a belt. But this is really adorable. I am loving this outfit. So next we're going to do a simpler hack. We're putting on the opposite attract dress transformation 5 again. And we're going to put on the TTYL skirt with transformation 32. And this gives our dress a really cute belt. Next we're going to do a really cute free bodice hack. So you will need the human bodice. And then when you're in the Roblox outfits, you're going to type in cutie cupid in the search bar and you're going to put on this outfit right here. And then you're going to find a skirt that you like that goes really well with this outfit. I am going to use the snow swan skirt. I am going to put it on transformation 10. And here is what the bodice and skirt combo looks like. Obviously, it would look really adorable if this outfit was styled more. So I decided to show you what it could look like with shoes on. And I did change the style of the snow swan skirt. I feel like this one kind of blends in with the ruffles that is drawn into the bodice and I just think it is really cute. Okay, so I showed you a lot of outfit hacks, so now I'm going to show you accessory hacks. I am going to put on the sailor hat with a bow. And this is how I am going to color it. Next, I'm going to put on the celestial cathedral veil. And I'm going to put on a transformation two. And then I'm going to put on the tennis visor. And here's what this looks like. We made a super adorable hat. So for our last hack, we are going to change our TTYL puff earrings to be transformation 15. And then we're going to put on the sweetheart earrings. You're going to want to color them so they blend in with your TTYL earrings. And here is what this looks like. It is really cute. I hope you enjoyed these hacks as much as I did. And if you have any hacks that you like that was not in this video, please let me know what they are down in the comment section. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!